peeps and welcome to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory, the beginning of the weekend league. Oh, and we forgot, we forgot it was Easter weekend, so we, things are going to change slightly, but I'll talk about that in a moment. This is the team we are rocking. We're going to play the 87 Dal Piero, um, just to try him out, see if he's better than the 92, and these are our super subs for this weekend. We're going to put Valencia in as sub, just in case Rijkaard needs a little bit of help here and there. So, we've got the 96 Ronaldo, we've got the Dal Piero. These are the instructions that we're going to be rocking. We're going to do balanced attack with Alexandro. Stay back for the centre-backs and balanced attack for Walker. Stay back while attacking for the both CDMs. Um, we're going to do stay on the edge of the box for the new Dal Piero. Same custom tactics we played the 92, but this one has a bit more pace. And then the three up front will just play as they wish. And then the custom tactics, we're going to do the same that I've showed you before. We're going to do 71 speed, 37 passing, nice and organised. Everybody stays where they are, nice and tight together, close passing, enabling one twos, not so much pressure, so we can serve the stamina on Alan and Rijkaard. Basically, that's the reasoning. So the 87 Dal Piero has more pace, more agility, more balance more everything, <laughs> give or take, than the 92, apart from shooting. Yeah, weird. These are the kits we're going to be rocking for this weekend. We forgot it was Sport Relief last weekend, so we're going to rock them this weekend. And honestly, it's a nice kit. I like the red and white. First up, we've got this team. So, this is Easter weekend. You, we totally forgot that this was Easter weekend. Obviously, I have children. Children are off school. It's a bank holiday. So what I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to forsake even trying to worry about where I finish. I'm just going to rinse my games. If I take owls, I take owls. Not too fussed. And unfortunately, that's going to be the same for next weekend. That's got nothing to do with family. Well, it has a little bit because it involves my boy. But it's WrestleMania weekend next weekend. I'm a huge wrestling fan. So Friday is the Hall of Fame. Saturday is WrestleMania. Um, is NXT Takeover. Sunday is WrestleMania, and it's just it's it's a it's a big weekend, man. So this weekend we've got family stuff going on with the Easter holidays, and then next weekend we've got family-ish stuff going on with WrestleMania and stuff like that. So this weekend and next weekend I'm just going to play my games as many as I can, so I don't have to worry about playing them. I'm not going to try and pick my times or try and grind out or take breaks if i take hours i'm just going to keep on going and that was probably a detriment to the actual result in this video we played in this video 22 games we're going to cover we played 22 games in 10 hours that's a lot of fifa man that is a lot of fifa and it's just basically i don't want i just can't play on the sunday um so i'm going to try and get all my games finished by saturday uh, so I needed to play 22 games on the Friday and we ended up playing 22 games because I had to start a bit late because of doing, obviously, normal life stuff. So we had to play 22 games in 10 hours. We come up against some great teams. Yes, we took some hours. Um, if, I'll just be happy if, if, if somehow, by some chance, we can get 25 wins this weekend. I will count, absolutely count that as a big W because we took some tired owls towards the end of those 22 games we really did but this is the funny thing all of friday servers were great yes we had goals going against us like that with bounce backs and stuff like that but gameplay felt great the team felt great i'm actually happy with all of these owls i took believe it or not i can honestly say that i know why i lost a couple of games um, it, was, it was purely down to tiredness and I could feel my reactions going slightly. Um, but I needed to carry on to get the games done. Which which obviously poses the problem of the way that you are forced to play 40 games in a short period of time. Um, but that's another subject. <laughs> um, yeah, so I could feel myself going like really tired on a couple of games. So I know why I lost those and I'll take the owls for them. And then a couple of the other owls that we, we took... Well, you know, majority of the Owls were some superb players. We got hit, not necessarily super teams. We did play some super teams, but not necessarily some super teams, but just really good FIFA players. So I'm not going to, yeah, do you know what? I'll tell you. So we ended up with um, 
taking what eight losses was it something like that in this batch so i would say easy four of those were from just me not the game not the team not the players not unluckiness not fair you know possibly a, a little bit of unluckiness in terms of like a bounce didn't go your way but i would say we more than covered that with some goals that we scored so i'm not gonna use that i would just say four of those games were definitely down to me just literally playing with one eye open <laughs> i was so tired man i was so tired and that's a shame that you're forced to play it in this state but that's what it is this year so we just have to get on with it and then the other half of losses i played some very very good opponents some very good players man and I, I think i was just unlucky in terms of matchmaking and I, I just hit some really great players um but that's what it is you gotta take it you, you're gonna i'm sure that some players felt hard done to with some of the wins that i got um i got a few messages calling me pay to win this weekend so that's always nice when you get a message saying pay to win and you're on a road to glory you know you're doing something right you know you're going in the right direction when people feel the need to send you a message calling you a bleep 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 pay to win bleep <laughs> and then i'm happy man road to glory not a single fifa point put on this account absolutely superb we will take that all day long so back to the actual team 87 dal piero are you ready are you ready 87 dal piero in my eyes is better than the 92 Dal Piero. Yep, I've said it. I, he is a superb card, man. He's got the... It, the only weakness compared to the 92 is that the 92 has got much better shooting from outside of the box. Much better shooting from outside of the box. The 92 Dal Piero, if you did like, um, a finesse shot from outside of the box or a 25-yard banger, it was guaranteed to go in. Very, very good at shooting the 92. Where the 87 absolutely smashes it is the agility and balance on the ball. It, on some attacks, it felt like he was literally gliding through butter. He was weaving, he was turning, he was very, 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 very good. Um, the pace, obviously, is quicker. Um, and you can feel that. You can, it, it, It's like the 92 is wearing a big bag of potatoes. And then the 87 has taken the big bag of potatoes off. And that, that that's the difference that you can tell. He just feels lighter. He just feels more nimble. He feels more agile. Uh, the stamina is absolutely the key. Now, we end up changing our super subs. When we had the 92, um, we we had to replace 92 Del Piero nearly every single game because his, ex, uh, his stamina was absolutely shot by about 80 minutes. This... 87 Dal Piero can last the whole game. He, he struggles if we end up going into extra time. He does struggle, um, but that's to be expected anyway. So we we change the subs around slightly, knowing uh, and put an extra defensive sub in, knowing just in case we needed to tighten up the game a little bit, we could, and knowing that Dal the 87 Dal Piero would actually last the whole game. So I absolutely love this 87 Dal Piero absolutely superb so the 96 striker ronaldo was he worth selling the 94 was he worth losing the what two three hundred thousand coins on the 94 we lost was he worth spending 1.8 ish million on do you know what if i'm being completely honest how yes absolutely one million percent what a card man what an absolute card. I am absolutely in love with this 96 striker Ronaldo. Absolutely superb. He just oh, managed his strength, his passing, his shooting. He's, he's the scabbiest card I have ever played with in any FIFA. He's absolutely stunning and I do not regret one bit. Absolutely not one bit wasting all of those extra coins for that what is seen as a minimally small upgrade this card is superb absolutely superb now because we're covering 22 games here i couldn't show you all of the goals that ronaldo scored obviously but let me tell you he scored some absolute stunners absolute stunners and i was a hair chinny chin breadth of a whisker of a 
millisecond of a minuscule off from scoring an El Tornado goal with him. Just a minuscule, it hit the post. Um, but because I didn't mark it down, when I record, I've got a little pad in front of me. And because I didn't mark it down of what game it was in that I nearly scored it, I can't show you the footage because I, otherwise I'll have to trawl through 22 games to try and find it. I can't remember which game it was in. But let me tell you, it was a minuscule away. It just clipped the outside of the post. Oh man, this card is absolutely superb. And I don't know whether it's the fact that... Look at that. Oh, <laughs> stop it, Ronnie. I don't know whether it's the... The Dal Piero has put a little bit, because he's faster, has put a little bit more confidence in. I don't know if it's the formation. I don't know if it's the tactics. I don't know if it's because the Friday servers were smooth like butter. I don't know. But let me tell you as well, I am struggling in some of these games. Absolutely struggling in terms of tiredness. And I still managed to, to pull out a few wins here and there. For me, 10 games in a day is a comfortable limit. Anything above 10 games, and because I'm a I'm an old man, <laughs> because I'm an old man, I start to struggle. So playing 22 games in a day for me is just absolutely absurd. Playing 15 games in a day is pushing it. Uh, and you know, when you're coming up against teams like this as well, and your reaction to slightly on the floor, 96 Ronaldo, Dybala, Salah, Hullet. Vieira, Petit, Rio Ferdinand, Desai, Alexandro. When you're slightly on your back a little bit in terms of tiredness, you, you know that the team is, is helping you when you manage to absolutely pull a win out. We do pull a win out against a team like this. And let me tell you, if somebody would have asked me to tell you what my middle name is, I wouldn't have been able to. I was absolutely on my back, man. I was so tired. He scores a great goal there, but I was really, really tired. And this team absolutely did the business. Kiate, oh my days. I can't believe how people are underestimating this card. He was knocking 96 striker Ronaldo off the ball and stuff like that. Kiate was amazing. Yes, we lost games. I'm not very good at defending. I'm always going to lose games. And I'm not saying playing 22 is an excuse of why we, we lost some. It's just facts. It is absolute facts, man. I couldn't see in some of the games that we lost some games. I'm telling you the truth. Nothing to hide. I'm showing you the owls. I'm showing you the W's. But I'm just giving you my advice from somebody that's an average FIFA player as well. This team played superb. And you can see we ended up on the 14 wins there. So honestly, if I can get 11 out the next 18, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to play all of the 18 on the Saturday, which you will see in tomorrow's video. Um, so fingers crossed, we managed to do it. But you can see there from the hours and the days, we played 22 games in 10 hours. That's insane. We'll recap the team on tomorrow's video overall for the whole weekend. But for to now, for to now, for to now, <laughs> for to now, for to mouth, for to mouth to these. But for today, that is it. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed. Turn those notifications on. That's important so that you know when a new video goes live. And more importantly than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in a bit.